Hi guys, this is Abhishek and today I am going to review the view 32 inches ultra android TV for you. When I was trying to buy this TV, I did not get any online reviews, so I am just trying to help some potential buyers of this ultra android TV to decide whether they actually want to buy this or not. Let us just start with the box packing first. It comes in a box like this, as you can see here. I'll just show you from the sides also this box. As you can see here, it comes in a box packing like this. The good thing is that in the box they provide both the wall mount and the tabletop options. So you don't have to buy separately a wall mount thing from the market. It's already there in the box. You just need to get it installed. But uh, I'm facing problems in installation. The installation guys are not showing up. It's been two weeks. So there is a problem with the installation. Definitely we can say that. I don't know whether it's there for the bigger towns, but I live in a small town. So probably that's why the installation is not done yet. And Amazon Home Services, please don't rely on them. Uh, many times I got the wrong information from them regarding the installation. Uh, okay, that's it. Uh, the good thing is that in the box we also get this remote. As you can see here, it's a good remote and uh, uh, it comes with all the buttons necessary. It doesn't have an important option though and that is the voice search option. There is only a search button as you can see on the remote but there is no voice search because there is no mic receiver available in this remote. So. Uh, you can't voice search directly um, from the remote and that's a big minus point I think so but otherwise the remote has a lot of other options which are not provided in other uh, cheaper smart TVs like MI and all they don't provide so many options on the remote so it's just like a give and take situation you get some but you don't get the other options Okay, another good thing is that in the box they also provide uh, the batteries for this remote. So you don't have to buy separately. The remote runs on two AAA size batteries and they provide that in the box. So it's good you just open the box and then you can just put it in the remote and start viewing. Uh, now while setting up, uh, I just set it up myself on the tabletop option. I could not get the wall installation done from the Amazon Home Services but I installed it myself on a table as you can see here I'll just show you so I have installed it myself and uh, uh, the tabletop option was very easy you just have to fix the four screws and you can uh, just put it on a table and let us just switch on the TV now So now I have switched on the TV and as you can see there is a small red light blinking not blinking but it's uh, glowing at the bottom of the screen there in the middle um, underneath the view logo. Uh, so that's the indication that now this TV is on and now we can switch it on with the help of the remote. So I'm just switching on the TV now. So this is the screen which comes. It shows you view Android TV. After that, it shows the Android logo. And after that, you will get the home screen. As you can see, the booting booting up time is not uh, like one or two minutes. It boots up. Uh, in a very good time uh, it's a certified android tv so you get all the google apps already pre-installed here mm, i could just show you in a better way i'm just trying to show you uh, what all apps are already there uh, i have not yet connected it to wi-fi so it's showing that it's not connected to wi-fi there are other options like netflix here now you'll be able to see it better 
this netflix this youtube uh this uh, google play movies and tv this option is there um and then you get prime video and um, i'll just lock it here so that you don't face problems so you got uh, i'm trying to lock it at that focus but the focus is not locking at that point so there are other apps you might have seen on the screen now uh, i just can't so now i think so now i have switched on the wifi and um, let us just connect this to Wi-Fi. Actually, um, I have connected it to a hotspot, but it automatically does not connect every time. So sometimes you just have to go in the menu and you have to connect it. So I'm just going to the settings here. Network and internet. There's a direct Wi-Fi setting also. And now it's got connected. So let us come back here and Let's go to one thing which a lot of users have complained about on Amazon. They are saying that the Prime Video app is not working but uh, when I switched on the TV for the first time, uh, it automatically installed an update and that update I think fixed the Amazon Prime Video issue. So let us just connect to Amazon Prime Video and see if it works. Um, Actually, I'm not a subscriber of Amazon Prime Video, but uh, let us see whether the app opens and whether we can view some trailer or something on the Amazon Prime Video app. As you can see, it's taking a time and it's showing now internet connectivity problem. Okay, so... Now, as you can see, there are a lot of apps which already come pre-installed, so... Uh, I just uh, had a few reviews on Amazon which told that Prime Video is not working so I just checked it out uh, I could see a few trailers on Amazon Prime Video uh, now I got a, an email from Vue also stating that uh, if you have installed the update after September 15th you will be able to watch Amazon Prime Video I'm not a subscriber of Amazon Prime Video so anyways I'm not bothered about it but i've just opened the app so that you can see whether it works or not let us see it's opening it takes its own sweet time and then it's showing internet connectivity problem i don't know whether it's uh, because of my internet connection uh, the hotspot or the because uh, the app does not work so let us just try google play store and see whether the internet connection is fine or not uh, there are very few apps available on Google Play Store for Android TV. Uh, it's not anyway comparable to the Google Play Store for uh, an Android phone. Uh, there are many popular uh, games also which are not available on uh, Google Play Store for this Android TV. As you can see the internet is probably working. It's just the issue with the Amazon app. I don't know what is the exact issue. Uh, it's not working and uh, uh, Google Play Store uh, works fine uh, it shows you all the apps which are there for this Android TV um, I have also installed a few apps on this like the MX player or a few games so let us just go back and uh, Uh, let us just see what all I have installed is here. This is the video which I watched and uh, This is uh, a direct Connection uh, for Netflix YouTube, etc. So you can directly play them from here uh, If you go down here, there is an option for voice search also, but uh, using the remote of the TV you can't access it uh, but for accessing it you can install uh, Android uh, remote TV on your mobile phone 
uh, and then uh, you can work around if you have a fast internet connection uh, internet connection speed for this uh, TV should be good otherwise the um, cast screen option it works but it lags a lot um, you can't watch anything on your mobile device on this TV unless and until they are both connected to the same Wi-Fi and it has a very good speed and it takes a lot of data also I don't know whether um, it's because of the cast screen but my mobile data almost uh, gets over so these are the few things about this TV now let us uh, the, this one more thing they have provided an option for input uh, on the remote screen so I'm using it and uh, now you get this and uh, if you have connected your set top box it comes here as composite it shows in the composite part so if you have a set top box connected you just have to use the composite option and I am using a dish TV connection here so as you can see the uh, display is good uh, and let me just show you a few things on this mm, let us just Uh, now I have just accessed the remote for my dish TV so let us just try some channel here and let me just show you this is some cartoon as you can see here honey bunny ka jhol mal uh, the uh, screen panel quality is uh, good I think in this budget I got it for around 10,000 but uh, the TV screen quality is good let us just let me just show you a few things about audio also and now uh, as you can see I will show you here uh, the ये देखिए now you see this, uh, I'm just using As you can see, I'm just using the sound at below half uh, of the uh, pointer there so still I'm getting a very good sound on this TV the volume is quite loud so sound is quite loud for this TV I don't think you're going to get any uh, problem with the sound part on this TV it can easily I think uh, it can easily give proper sound in a room of around 10 feet no problem I don't think there will be any problem it has the option for uh, it there's a button on the uh, remote which just uh, shows you the menu here and this is I'll just show you this button here uh, as you can see this button here this uh, on pressing this button we will get the menu here and then we can go to the picture mode whatever picture mode you want you use from here and then you can also go to uh, I'm just showing you a few settings here uh, of the TV so this is the menu from the settings option you can go here you can go to device preferences here and then you can find a lot of settings here for sound or for picture let me just go to the picture here you get a setting for backlight also uh, I've kept it for low but it's a very useful feature to have if you are watching TV at night with the lights off you can just uh, put the backlight to 50 or 0 or whatever you feel like putting there so it's a good option here and then uh, we go to the sound menu also and uh, there are many sound styles you can choose from or you can have your own uh, sound style there you can customize the sound this DTS studio sound option if you enable this you get uh, bass during the like uh, when the songs and all play you get this uh, bass thing there uh, from this DTS studio sound let me just uh, show you once more the sound effect here uh, 
as let me just increase the sound here saathi milegi ek service book ke liye apni fresh tv ki chhatri ke alignment ke liye iske alawa cricket aur cartoons ke dimaan ke liye hai family cricket combo aur english entertainment chahne walon ke liye hai family english combo ye offer hd mein bhi uplabdh hai jaldi kariye so as you might have seen the sound is sufficient and good the display quality is also okay so now let me just uh, put uh, a few things uh, in a nutshell and just close this review um the good things about the tv the screen quality is good the sound is good the uh connectivity options uh, like you get two usb ports at the back you get two hdmi ports at the back uh, so that connectivity option is good and then you get uh, both the wall mount and the tabletop options uh, there in the box you get the set you, know, you get the um, tabletop uh, thing there in the box and you also get the wall mount thing in the box so you don't have to spend money on wall mount if you want like uh the tv to be mounted on the wall uh then the good thing about the tv is that it uh, comes with uh, android certification so all the android apps work like all the google apps sorry the google apps work like youtube uh, you don't face any problem in playing uh, videos from youtube or like uh, if you are a fan of google play movies and tv like you get that option also and you get other google apps also pre installed so you don't have to install them uh this is another thing uh now let me just wind up this uh, review by saying all the good things and the bad things about the tv the good thing is that you get a good screen according to the price you get good audio um according to the price the audio is good and uh, you can you get a lot of connectivity options you get two usb ports you get two hdmi ports um you get the port for antenna and you also get the port for set top box so you get all the necessary ports on this tv um you get uh, a good remote also a remote uh, is uh, just like a normal tv remote it's uh, nothing like the voice enabled remotes which you get which have only a few buttons and not the others so i just like the remote of this tv um but uh, as about the bad things the uh, remote does not have the voice search option and that is a big minus i think even we have to pay a little bit they should provide to the providers with the option for a remote with voice search because that can make your life a little easier while playing videos on youtube etc you get a good option using the voice search um but there is a work around for this you just install google android tv on your phone and then from using the phone you can access um the um voice search option um there's one more thing here uh, like the uh there's one more thing here uh, you the cast screen option is not very easy to set up and the cast screen option most of the times lag uh, a lot i have tried cast screen from many devices on this tv but it doesn't work properly sometimes the video is uh, lagging behind the voice sometimes the voice is lagging behind the video so uh, you don't get a very good experience of cast screen uh, i would say that the tv is good if you want to buy it you can buy it but as you know a few options uh you may face problems with the home amazon home services installation you may face problems with the uh prime video app and you may face problems with the voice search so if you overlook all these problems then this tv is a very good option under 10000 rupees so you just go and buy this tv thank you everyone